Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of How to Build Your Character. My name is Kasanis, and today we're going to be tackling the arm. And it's been a little while since we've done one of these, so I hope everyone's been following along. Sorry, I just zoomed in there. I hope everyone's been following along pretty well. Your character should have uh, two, his arm, uh, sorry, his legs, both legs. He should have a spine and he should have a, uh, a head in place. Uh, we also worked on uh, blend shapes, so hopefully you guys have been following along and everything is all set. Now, I'm using the free version of Bandicam once again, so I am hoping that you are going to be able to see this uh, in... It's, it's going to actually be several 10-minute episodes, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, we're going to get started right now. This is a fairly complicated um, setup. It's probably the most complicated thing we're going to do uh, on this character because it is an uh, FK and IK arm, which is going to allow you to switch between the two. It's probably the most complicated thing we're going to do, so make sure you're up to date and you understand everything we've done up to this point, and then tackle these videos. Okay? So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump right into it. I want you guys to go to Panels. First of all, we're going to make sure we are in Animation, up here, uh, so we can actually see the uh, different skeleton tools. We're going to be working the skeleton tools today. I want you to go to Panels, and I want you to go to the orth Orthographic Top View, and we're going to be looking down at our character, and this is just to make sure that we can get the arm uh, where we want it. Um, we're going to be adding three bones. We're going to be adding a clavicle, and we're going to be adding a, uh, you know what, for now we're going to add the clavicle from the front. So we're going to go Orthographic Front View again. Okay, um, so right in here we're going to add a clavicle, and the clavicle is going to be located somewhere in this area here. So. Um, first thing you're going to do is select your skeleton and your joint tool, okay? And we're going to click, we're going to put the clavicle somewhere in this area. It's going to control the, if you want to like shrug, it's going to kind of control your, your arms up there. And it, it's typically used to maintain, um, uh, to maintain a, a good shape when the character is reaching far above the head. Now in this case, when we actually are using blocky characters and nothing is really connected together, it's not quite as important, but it is going to allow us to do a little bit of animation in the in the uh, like as a shrug and that kind of stuff. So we're going to put it right down in this area. I'm going to put it right about here. This is fine. Okay. Um, now in the uh, what I'm going to do in the top view, or you know what, right here, we'll just do it here for now. I want you guys to go along, and you're going to add the um, shoulder joint, which is going to go right here, uh, right about here. It's going to be rotating around this point, so we have got to make sure we get this right. So let's say right about here. And we can adjust these afterwards, right there. The elbow joint, which is going to be right here. And lastly, we're going to add the um, wrist joint, which is going to be right about here. Now, really and truly, I should have done this whole thing with the view, sorry, shading, um, wireframe on shaded. And I actually messed these up because this one, this last one I put in, whoops, should actually be right in here, right in that crevice. And that's going to allow us to bend the, uh, the, um, arms. Okay, now we're going to go into the top view, panels, and orthographic top, and uh, that's actually lined up pretty good. That's not bad at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to select this one right here, this middle joint, and we're going to hit the insert key, and that's going to allow us to move this joint without moving everything else. And we're going to add a slight bend in the elbow like that. We're just going to go straight back. And in turn, what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to uh, use IK in this situation, so it's going to actually bend along that that uh, that joint. So we get we're going to have a, a shape like that. Perfect. Hit insert again. Okay. Now back to our view like this, and we are going to go in, and we are going to add. Um, we're going to add in here the uh, some names. So let's just go to this one here, and this is going to be called BN because it's actually our bind joint underscore. Um, wrist, wrist, underscore, and it is our left arm. Great. Hit the up arrow key. It'll take you to the next joint. We're going to name this one here, BN, underscore, elbow, underscore, left. Great. Up arrow. Uh, BN, underscore, shoulder, underscore, left. And uh, up arrow one last time. BN und oops oh forgot to double click in here. BN underscore clavicle cla clavicle how do you spell clavicle? Clavicle clavicle I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't remember how to spell clavicle. <laughs> clavicle left. 
Okay, perfect. Now, uh, this is actually how we want it to do it, and I think these are going to be in approximately the right location. If they're not, then that's going to be okay too. Uh, we want to make sure that when we bend, the elbow itself is going to follow it. And we can do a quick junk bind. Let's go back to our orthographic front, make sure everything's still lined up. Okay, great. We can do a quick junk bind to make sure that everything is lined up properly. So first thing I want you to do is select this top joint, the clavicle, and you're going to say, uh, is it right click? Oh my God, it's been a long time. Yes, hold down the right mouse button and say set preferred angle to make sure that if we actually rotate something here, the entire thing is not is going to be able to be put back in place. So that is our preferred angle. Uh, angle, excuse me. I want you to select the uh, joints. Let's select this one, this one, and this one, the top three. Uh, and then we're going to select the actual skin, so the arm of the skin. And we're going to say skin, smooth bind, go to the little box. Make sure that we have selected joints in place here on the top, bind to selected joints, and say bind skin. Now, when we actually rotate this around this point, we're hoping that everything is going to rotate. Oops, I got to do it back in the this spot, and we're gonna hoping that everything is kind of going to stay. It's a little tiny bit off. We're going to actually go back and move that joint a little tiny bit. In fact, we're just going to move it right like. Oops, Control Z, Control Z. We're going to go back. We're going to unbind this skin. So we select the skin, skin, detach skin, and we're just going to move this. We actually want it to be in the same location as. Uh, let's go with the graphic front. We want that joint to be in the same location as this. So you can see it's right. There, so we actually want to take this entire thing, and we're going to want to move it right to there, just like that. And now, when we actually do our our joint, our binds again, select, 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 uh, and then the arm as well, and we say skin bind, skin smooth bind. Now, when we rotate this joint, we should I should do it the other thing again we should end up nicely, just like that. Okay, so hopefully you guys all saw how I did that. Uh, pretty easy stuff. Okay, so this is going to be our basic skeleton, our basic arm skeleton. This is our bind joints. We've got our, our angles set, our preferred angle set, so we can actually go about now and create some of the new ones. We are going to select this joint, and we're going to say Edit, Duplicate. And when we duplicate it, um, we're going to end up with a, uh, another set of joints. See how I've got this in here? Okay, so we're going re to return that. And I want you to open up your outliner, window outliner, and find, oh, sorry, I'm opening it in a different window. I should drag it over here. Find that actual BN joint, which we got right here. This is our BN clavicle. And find this one here, the BN L1, uh, and so on. And we're going to rename these, so I'm going to select this. This is going to be called our... We're going to call this our um, FK. This is going to be our FK wrist. And this is going to be our FK elbow. FK. And this is going to be our FK shoulder. Make sure you change it so it's FK. And make sure you change it so that it is also uh, not L1. OK, great. Then what we're going to do again is we're going to select the BN shoulder, just like that, and we're going to say edit duplicate again. And this is going to give us our two sets, so we've got our second one. Open that up in your outliner like that, and this time we're going to call this one here IK, IK wrist, we're going to call it IK elbow, and we're going to call it IK IK shoulder. Okay, great. Uh, from here, what we're going to do is we are going to... Actually, I'm going to shut off the camera really right here really quickly and restart it again, and we're going to go on and create the controls that allow us to change between IK and FK. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, we're back, and unfortunately, it was... Not immediately. Toronto was hit by a terrible storm that actually knocked out power for me. <laughs> for about 12 hours. So we are 12 hours later and I'm hoping I remember where we left off. I think where we left off was we had just created the um, structure right here for the IK, FK and the bind skeleton. And of course the bind skeleton is going to hold the skin, the IK skeleton is going to control the IK animation and the FK skeleton will control the FK. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect this entire system right here 
into the uh, existing spine controls. And all I want you to do is select the uh, uh, clavicle that we've got right there and select the spine control right here. So that's below the neck, the one immediately below the neck. And we're going to go up to, well, we're going to actually make sure we're in animation first. We're going to go to skeleton and we are going to say connect joint. And you should see a bone connect these two together. So we've got a bone right in there now. And this entire system, whoops, push the wrong button. Um, this entire system will now rotate just like that. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So the next thing we're going to do is create a control that's going to allow us to switch between IK and FK. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, let me see exactly where we were. I'm going to just bring this over and let's take a look at uh, this bone. Make sure that we actually already have our... No, that's not what I'm looking for. We're looking for our orient constraints. I honestly, sorry, I can't remember if I actually created orient constraints last time. Okay, so we did not. So we're going to do that right now. The first thing we're going to do is create our orient constraints. And basically what that means is we're going to make sure that the uh, bind skeleton is controlled by uh, by both the FK shoulder, or sorry, the FK and the IK uh, structure. So I'm just going to rotate that up. So that's the FK's on top, and then I'm going to take the IK and I'm going to rotate it down. Now I'm calling it IK, but it's not actually IK yet. We don't actually have any IK in place, but the IK is going to be put in later. So the first thing we're going to do, the most important thing we're going to do right now, is make sure that this, the bind skeleton, is being controlled by both the uh, FK and the IK structures. So I want you to first select the FK wrist, then select the IK wrist. Let me just make sure we're doing the right thing. Go on my channel box. Then select the IK wrist, and last select the um, BN skeleton. Okay, so we've got the wrists all connected, selected, excuse me, and we're going to go to constraint. We're going to go to orient constraint and make sure that the maintain offset is off, and you're going to say add. Boink. And that's going to create this new, inside of the, under the bind wrist, it's going to create a new, two new um, attributes right here. And those are what we're going to animate later on. So back into the main panel, and you're going to use your up arrow key to select the next set of joints. And it's going to select them in the same order, which is exactly what we want. Once again, we say constrain, orient. One more time, up arrow key, constrain, orient. Okay, now let me show you exactly what that did. We're going to go back to the uh, bind skeleton right here. Actually, you know what, we'll do it from here because it'll probably be easier to see. Now, as I mentioned, here on the elbow now, we have two new attributes, which is what we're looking for, and that's great. So what we want to do, if we turn off the FK control, so right now it has, has evenly split, one and one. If we turn off the FK control, so I'm going to set this to zero, you're going to see eh, nothing happened. Okay, there, after I hit return. You see how this thing here um, switched? It is now pointed downwards. Let me put it back so you can see it switch again. If I hit 1, return, you can see it go back. So that means that the control is being entirely shifted to the IK, which is down here, to the IK uh, orientation. And that's exactly what we want to happen. So now we've done that for every single one. So that means now we can switch back and forth between uh, the two uh, controls by manipulating these values. And we're going to do that with a set driven key. Now before we do that, we're going to set up a control. So let's uh, go to your root. Click on your root, right click and hold and say assume preferred angle and everything will go back to where it was, just like that. Okay, now what we're going to do, let's turn off, show polygons, we're going to turn it off. I'm going to create a control that we're going to use to manipulate this arm. And just go to create, NURBS primitive, circle. And I'm using a circle, you don't have to, you can make anything you want, make them as fancy as you want. I'm just going through this quickly and, and uh, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. You can change anything you want within here. So. We're going to change this name to control underscore, let's call it hand underscore left. Great. And we're going to add a new attribute to this, this uh, controller. And that is under modify. And you're going to find the add attribute right here. Click it, and you'll get this new window popping up. Um, we're going to call this new uh, control, uh, this new attribute uh, IK underscore FK. This is our IK FK switch. And we're going to change the minimum value. We're going to set the minimum value to 0 and 1. So if this, if this controller, if this attribute is set to 0, then one of the attributes, either IK or FK, will be control. And if it's set to 1, then the other one will be in control. And I'll demonstrate that in one second. Say OK, and it'll add that new attribute right there. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to, with this still selected, I'm going to say Edit, and I'm going to say Group. And that's going to create a group around this object. And I'm going to call this adjustment hand left 
just like that. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to open up my outliner, and with the outliner open, I'm just going to leave it here in case we lose it. I'm going to make sure that the group is selected, which it should be, right there, great. And I'm going to go up to here, and you see this little symbol with the magnet and a dot? That is a snap to point. I'm going to turn that on. And when I then physically move this group, it will snap to different points. And I want to snap it right on to the end of the hand right there. And that's going to be connected to the BN joint once we're all done. That's exactly what we want to see. Great. And turn this off. Now, I'm going to turn my show polygons back on. And my sh say show joints off. Now, I want to move this control. It's currently inside the arm, and we don't want that. We want this to be visible to our animators. So we're going to select the circle. We're going to right click and hold and say control vertices. And we're going to select all of them like this. And just drag this out so it's kind of sticking out of the hand. Just about there. That's perfect. And that's going to be sticking out far enough that our animator can actually see it. And click on the head or something like that, and we'll go back into into uh, object up mode. And if we actually click on this again, we can see that the pivot didn't move. It's still over here, but the actual vertices are moved over here. And that's what we're looking for. OK. So with that set up, we're going to say Show Joints one more time. And where's my outliner again that I keep closing? What I want to do is I want to select the BN, the BN wrist. And I'm going to constrain this object here with a point and orient constraint. I'm going to constrain the actual, so I'm going to select the wrist first, and then I'm going to select the adjustment node we created. Bang. And I'm going to say constrain point, constrain orient. And now this object will stay with that BN bind skeleton, uh, the BN skeleton, excuse me. Let me show you. If I select the shoulder, for example, and we do a little bit of rotation, you're going to see that it stays with it, OK? Which is what we're looking to do. Perfect. OK. Now. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is make sure that we can shift between these two values. We can see on this guy right here, we've got our IKFK switch. I'm going to do that with an animate set driven key. We're going to use a set driven key in order to manipulate these controls. So I'm going to load driver, which is going to be our control hand. And with my outliner open again, I'm going to select the uh, BN. Let's start off with the BN wrist. And if we take a look, I'm going to expand this, expand it. So we can see we have our orient constraints right here. I'm going to start off with the wrist. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to say load driven, just like that. And I'm going to say with the IK value set to 0, I know that's set to 0, I'm going to change this value to 0. So every time the IK is in, every time this value here on this, this attribute, the IKFK switch, is at 0, we are going to have it controlled IK. OK? So. I'm just going to select that, change that value, select this, and say key, and say key on both of those values. Then I'm going to reverse it, just like this. Change this to 1. Go back to my BN wrist control. Set this to 1. Set this to 0, just like that. And I'm going to say key and key. And we're going to do that for each and every one of these. So next, the elbow constraint, make sure this is set to 0. Make sure that our elbow constraint, which we're now going to have right here, load driven, make sure that this is set to 0. And we're going to say key and key. And then reverse again. Really easy stuff. Just reverse. And back to the orient. And say 1. And say 0. And then we're going to say key and key. And the last one we're going to do is, of course, the shoulder. Set this to 0. Set the shoulder to 0 here. And we're going to say, oh, make sure that our shoulder is the driven. And say key and key. All right, everybody. So that is taking us to the end of this first video. I'm breaking this up into two videos at least. Hopefully, you're going to watch the next one, part B. I will talk to you all soon. Make sure if you enjoyed what you saw here, you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day.